Hi Darkroom friends, it's Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to talk specifically about Darkroom Booth for iPad. We are going to go to darkroomtemplates.com, download a free template, edit that template in Photoshop, then email it to ourselves so that we can open it on the iPad app and then add it to a session or to a, a layout. Let's go ahead and get started. We will first go to darkroomtemplates.com and then we're going to click on iPad templates. You just find one that you like. We'll go ahead and select the square template. We're going to add it to the cart. Check out. And Finish checking out. We can click on the order number, then download items, and click download. So it'll take just a moment for that template to finish downloading. These are uh, larger files. They're PSD templates, so you, uh, they have to be opened and edited in Photoshop. But as you can see, this one is 56 megabytes. Let's go ahead and look at our downloads folder okay it looks like it's finished downloading we'll go ahead and double click it to open it in Photoshop it's telling me that I'm missing a font that's okay okay and what we're gonna wanna do first is um, hide that sample image so that it is uh, an image with transparency we can see through to the checkered board background. We need that because our photo in Darkroom Booth on the iPad is going to be behind this graphic. So you want to make sure that you can see this checkered board pattern. And depending on which version of Photoshop, the checkered board might be a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. So the next thing we're going to do is click on our text tool. Okay, and then just for fun, let's uh, change the font. And the fonts that you're using inside Photoshop are the ones that you have installed in your operating system. So, um, and you can modify the template or the text however you want. Um, you don't have to stay within the certain box because a photo will actually show behind it. Okay, so we have our graphic. We're going to uh, go ahead and save it. Go File, Save As, and I'm going to save it to my computer. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my desktop. And right here, you're going to want to select um, PNG, and we can rename it. And save. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a larger file fast to save in. Okay, so here's that graphic, and I already have an email set up. I'm going to email it to my Gmail account and send. And now it's on its way to my iPad. We'll go ahead and switch over to my iPad now. Okay, so now we're logged into my iPad and we're gonna go ahead and go to our event settings and uh, we'll go ahead and create a new event. Then we'll click next. We're gonna select a square template because our graphic was square. And then we're going to choose overlay, choose image, and this is where we're going to switch over to our mail. And I've already pulled up the image in my uh, in my mail. I'm going to just 
press and hold, save image, and now when I switch back to darkroom, we go to camera roll, recent, and next. And we can also do the same thing for uh, GIF as well. So we'll click choose image, camera roll, next, and we could do the same thing for um, burst, uh, whoops. We'll want to make sure that aspect ratio is set to square so it lines up properly. Let me scroll down so you can see now. Otherwise, it'll distort the template. And there is a vertical version of this template. So you can download either. If you don't want to use a square, you can use um, most of those come with both ver um, portrait orientation and square. So now when we click next and next, next, and start the event, we can now select, we'll go with the burst just for fun. And it's that easy. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.